What up, y'all? Rap Critic here, and just to make it clear, you know, I don't go into songs expecting to find stuff I don't like. I don't come into these songs rubbing my hands like, ooh, I can't wait to hate on famous rappers. No, I, I straight up just try to enjoy every rapper's music for what it is, but they just keep on saying weird shit. Every year, I think there'll be some quality control to where I won't have enough material to cover, but no, every time there's always at least 10 songs I can find with rappers saying shit that's strangely incongruent to whatever point or atmosphere they're trying to convey. So without further ado, let's get into the top 10 worst lyrics I've ever heard uh, this year. <laughs> You know, the thing about Lil Uzi Vert is I can see the cool punk rock aesthetic he's going for, right? And it's something I don't see many rappers really diving into as an influence, so I want to ride for it, but it's like, as soon as you take the slightest glance at the lyrics, it's couched in the same old tired regressive attitudes towards women. Like, wow man, it, it really doesn't get any more prejudice than all of this marginalized group are exactly the same. And the thing is, guys who lay out their reasoning for this type of thinking are always taking one sour relationship they had and extrapolating it to represent all women. She don't give a damn about me, only care what money's worth, she did all my friends. Whoa. But it feels like I touched her first. Oh, damn, all your friends? Okay, yeah, you know, I'll admit that, that, that's a pretty rough experience to get over. Now I understand the reason why I love Although I, I gotta go out on a limb here and say a girlfriend sleeping with all your friends, that, that is not a common enough reason for why love hurts for most people, bro. And you know, honestly, if she could bang every friend you have... It kinda sounds like your homeboys ain't shit too. But I mean, your songs are mostly about buying cars and clothes and stacking up bands to their falling over. You gotta suspect that might be a factor in the caliber of people being drawn to you. Guess I'm the one to now see, there you go, taking some accountability for the type of people you attract. See, that's the first step to getting people who will care enough about you. And you know, in the meantime, you can always count on the love you get from the fans when they feed off your energy at your live shows. Every time I hit the stage, make the crowd disperse. Oh, you drive people away when you get on stage? Okay, never mind then. To be clear, I'm pretty sure dude just doesn't actually know what the word disperse means. Like, maybe he thinks it means when a crowd bursts with energy or something. I really don't know what the hell else he could have meant to say there. But I'm fairly certain it couldn't have been the word that means to make a crowd go away. Wow, well, talk about someone with a completely different philosophy about his relationships. He playing greedy with that bitch, come get your mess. Psh, yeah, look at this asshole, won't let his friends run a train on his wife. And now that's just selfish. However, he does seem oddly concerned about the familial relationships of the women he's talking to. Don't talk to your mama crazy, ho, ho. I mean, yeah, I guess you should respect your elders, sure. Your sister, ho, ho. And, you know, yeah, don't hold grudges against your siblings that lead you to constantly mean mugging them all the time. Have a baby, ho. Uh, alright, well, that's definitely a much more demanding request. Give me top and my hair. Now while I'm praying, don't be- Uh, wh what the fuck? Yeah, you, you know how women be always so eager to get their braid-twisting, dick-sucking energy out that they just can't wait for a man to finish his rosary. Like, wh what the fuck is going on right now? So many questions. Like, is she trying to do both at the same time? And where's this religious angle coming from? That's just such a strange detail to bring up. And just in general, what woman is he with that's like, oh, to hell with his religious observation. I've just got to suck his dick and braid his hair right now. <laughs> These hoes just don't be respecting a man's religious journey. Am I right, fellas? All my Rolls Royces got a different body facts. Man, sorry, kid it out with every option. Facts. Yes, yes, another brag song by Drake about all the crap he can spend his money on. Used to say I had it before I got it, now I got it all. And being honest, I don't really want to talk about it. Wait, what? I had it so long, I don't even celebrate it. What, what the hell are you talking about? You, you were just bragging about the expensive mods you put on your luxury cars. Motherfucker, if that ain't celebrating your wealth, what the fuck is? Docking jet skis in the Florida Keys, and my diamonds all hidden like tie-dye. Aw, oh, but he doesn't really want to talk about his money. He must just have a really specific vocal take he's dealing with that makes him have to list off all the ways he's richer than you. Dropped him off at school, big day for my little man. Recess hits, daddy probably made another M. Jeez, the man can't even spend two full bars on his own kid before bringing up how rich he is. And that's the kid he was surely intending on raising and paying child support for before Pusha T exposed him on it, you guys, so you, you know it's serious. Damn, just imagine all the stuff they had to edit out to make the verse cohesive. Yeah, I want to talk about issues that's more important, but can't stop focusing on all of these whips that's forming. No, wait, I didn't mean to say that. I want you to think about deeper shit like seats on this Maybach. Fuck, yo, man, I think I might actually have a psychological problem. Engineer guy, stop your head nodding. I'm serious. 
about stacking this paper. No, I mean with the words that I'm saying. Please stop. I'm not playing because this song is supposed to be a remix of Man in the Mirror. Put the platinum in my watch is clear. Fuck it. Dude, stop the track. I can't take it. Just like this it is getting stuck. My cats are getting their bitch butt naked. Shit. I'm trying to stop, but this is really hard. Why won't anyone help me? Out of the Scrooge McDuck money vault, I got in my backyard. I got damn it. We got 45 bitches just living it up. Been too damn long without a sip of my car. Now, Young Thug's latest album had him going for a more laid-back, relaxed sound, uh, more often utilizing softer-sounding acoustic instruments for his musical tapestry. So, in contrast to the in-your-face, bombastic blast of most common trap production of the day, it serves as an interesting aesthetic contrast one can enjoy the more muted, down-tempo novelty of. Those have got to be the softest gunshots I've ever heard in my life. Although the album cover definitely gives me pause every time I see it, because it seems to be implying that he's the one playing these acoustic instruments, but that's clearly not the case, because that, that's a guitar. You don't use a bow to play a guitar. The strings are on a flat surface. You need the strings on a raised position so the bow can swing over them. Why is he pulling that string so hard like that? Dude, you're going to ruin these instruments. But you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be so uptight about stuff like that. After all, he's going for a more mellow mood here, so hey, I, I should just relax and allow the comfy, chill vibes of the beat work to put me at ease. That's kind of a good point. What can you even be motivated enough to sob over? Any emotional stress you could have is always going to be tempered by knowing for a fact you won't face any material hardships that you can't cover with the racks you got saved up in the bank. She won't fasten up a seatbelt when we ride. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Well, hey, maybe their lives are just so free of consequences, the girl he's hanging with just needs to feel like there's some danger in her life, right? I mean, hey, when you're on easy street, I guess why not live a little on the edge? She was trying to tell me that with all her words, they were lies, but I let her get away with it cause sometimes she wanna die. Uh, what? But I let her get away with it cause sometimes she wanna die, yeah. Got 45 bitches just living it up. Whoa, wh what the fuck, man? No, you, you can't just end the verse like that right before jumping into you've got 45 bitches and everything's good times. Like, what? This chick's lying to you about stuff because she's having a mental health crisis. That's like a whole other verse worth of stuff to talk about. You can't just drop that in the end like that's not the most jarring way you could have ended a verse over this light, sparsely produced track about kicking back and having a fun, carefree life. For God's sakes, man, the song's called Living It Up. Why would you get so literally deathly serious at the tail end like that? We got 45 bitches and we're living it up. Well, I don't know what this bitch's problem is, so, so I guess we got 44 bitches who are living it up. Our thoughts create our reality. Confirmation that came from the CIA. Vaccines, the mark of the beast. Can't put no chip in me. Oh, God. No, man. No. Well, it is 2021, so you know we had to tackle at least one hip-hop conspiracy nut. Dude, the government doesn't give a fuck about your spirituality or your genes. They just want you to get back to work as soon as possible so you can make money for the capitalist machine. I'm so sick of people thinking just because it's the government, they're always on some super evil bad guy shit. When the banal evil of it is, the rich are literally giving every mealy mouth excuse they can to keep the vaccine from being freely distributed to poor countries purely because they want to make more money off of the patents first. If there was a microchip they wanted to experiment on the poories with, don't you think they'd be trying to give it out to the poor countries first and as quickly as possible. And what's crazy is, in the music video, he walks off and fades away, which is pretty common music video shorthand for someone who just died. Hehe, <laughs> I'm a free thinker. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> oh shit. But you know, when someone has action movie protagonist syndrome, it always leads them to thinking the unpopular information they found must be the truth that the government is trying to keep away from us. But these people always seem to forget about a little thing called peer-reviewed study, which is what brings scientists to the common consensus they end up having so that data can be double-checked upon. They don't do it because, ooh, they're just trying to hypnotize everyone into believing the same thing. They do it so people don't end up following someone who doesn't have any evidence to back up their claims. But what conspiracy nuts don't like to acknowledge is that they have preconceived notions that cause them not to question info that reaffirm what they already wanted to believe, which, since it sounds like common sense to them, causes them to retreat to their own bubbles where they can't be called out in their own communities, regardless of just how obvious it may be that they don't know what they're talking about. I'm picking their brands, but facing their head, they calling me a cosmetologist. A cosmetologist is someone who does hair and makeup. Maybe he means a cosmologist? But hey, maybe to him that's just Big Dictionary trying to control the common definition of words, man. Profit make a prophecy. How many days the sun going down on the 21st? I say about three. And I, I didn't even know what the fuck he was talking about here, so, so I had to look it up. And apparently he believes, with no evidence or links I could find to back up his claim, that on December 21st, or around that time, the sun will go down for three days. And, well, if you're seeing this video now, you probably know that that shit didn't happen, so... Yeah, make it that what you will. Alright guys, that's the end of part one. See you on part two, which patrons are going to be able to get early, so, you know, get on that shit if you want to see it.